Hey, what's up guys? Dan Krause again. It's time to make some more stuff. Uh, so today, well, I guess I should start with the other day, I was eating some ice cream and I was looking at these spoons and I thought, wow, that just has a really good shape to it, doesn't it? And we've got two different sizes here. Don't tell my wife. Good thing she doesn't watch my videos. So... I think you guys see where I'm going with this. Um, we're just gonna lop this off here on both of these. And these are stainless steel. And then I have a, I don't know what this is, 5 16 bolt that goes in here. And then a lock nut. So we're just gonna cut that off and weld it on like so. And then you'll be able to put it on wherever you want and tighten it down. This is just a, a big dual band rod. So yeah, this should be really easy. And I think this shape is gonna be really, really good uh, for pushing some damage out. So thanks for watching. All right, so now I got these nice spoons here, uh, all trimmed up, and that looks like a great shape to me anyways. Um, so I'm just going to clean up a little spot here and then weld these suckers right smack dab in the center. And that's pretty much gonna be it outside of, you know, I'm gonna just go over this and kind of clean it up a little bit. Yeah. Walled it up. All righty, so those are all welded up. And now I'm just going to clean up the face of these and they'll be all done. All right, so there we go, all done. Boom, just like that. I got two different sizes, and it only took me like 25 minutes. And best of all, it was free. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so here we go. We got, this is my test fender. You see, I just put a big old dent right there. And uh, we're gonna be trying out my spoons that I just made about five minutes ago. And we're gonna see, uh, yeah, we're just gonna see how these work. So this should be about the right spot uh, for this type of tool to work. I, th I would think even back in here it would work if you had enough room or if you had a fender stand like I do here, which is specifically in setup for left fenders. So anyways, I will, uh, get right into it. This actually kind of matches the shape pretty good. So I'm just gonna start kind of rocking this uh, back and forth and putting pressure. So we'll see what happens. Real time, guys.
like that. I'm just basically balancing the tool. I'm like barely even, I'm not putting any pressure on it at all. Barely at all. actually uh, twist it a little bit and move it to the sh sharper side of the tool and use it use the pick as a little bit sharper so it's not like you have to go directly on it with the face if you go on the edge if you can get your hand on it it has kind of a nice smooth edge. It might even work better with some Tessa tape on it. So that was another thing I was thinking. smooth you know the transition is smooth I didn't put any big stabbing marks in it um, so it's gonna make the knockdown work just that much cleaner and easier just nice soft gentle pushes and I'm just using my fingers to push because it, it's kind of sharp at the end but it also moves quite a bit of metal at the same time so you're not just poking at it so there we go guys that was just a quick demo of how how to make a, a household spoon into a really useful uh, PDR tool so hope you guys enjoy that and uh, Subscribe for more content. I'll be making a lot more tools shortly. So 